it's important to have a process that's going to help you to create more success and fulfillment in your life. Because if you don't have a process, you just do random. And if you do random, you just drift around and you don't do anything. You don't yeah. achieve anything. And so I think when you have this guideline, it's really empowering you and help you to stay intentional about creating the success and fulfillment that you want. I created this framework in three parts, this process, which starts with being great, doing good, and living epic. In today's episode, we're going to talk about self-mastery and how to get better at life. Why do we need to get better at life? Because life is short. We have a limited supply of time. And if we're not intentional about how we use it, we might end up at the end of our life looking at our life flashing by in front of our eyes and be like, oh shit, but then it's too late. Now, I learned that the hard way. And I want to share with you a moment that I will never forget. And I do know you know the story, but most mm -hmm. of the listeners, they don't. Um, it was in September 2018. I was hanging on a tree, almost being swallowed by a deadly tsunami wave. Around me, hundreds of people were trying not to drown or to escape from the collapsing building caused by the earthquake that happened just a few minutes before. In my arms, I was holding a five-year-old girl that I rescued from the debris of the hotel behind. It was chaos. It was hell. The city was on fire. People were yelling. The car alarms were ringing. It was a total nightmare. The tsunami was coming so fast. And I was there in that tree on the coast, like without any protection. I was holding this little girl, and she looked at me in the eyes, so scared. She was terrified. I'm not going to lie. I was too. I looked at her and smiled and I said, it's going to be okay. In my mind, I was just thinking, you're a liar. You're going to die. And in that moment, I really thought, is that it? Was that my life? Is that Was that everything I could be and do? No, I'm not going to lie. This was a very traumatic event. And I went through a very dark phase after, after this happened. And it also helped me really reflect on life and, and how can we make the sh most of this short amount of time that we have here. And that's where I started really diving deep into, you know what? I am still alive today. And I have this, it's a miracle that I survived that event. And for all the people that I lost, for all the friends that died that day, like I have the duty to make the most out of it. And so that was really the start for me trying to think, okay, how do I maximize my life experience? Because what I figured is that you have two kinds of people in life. You can either try to minimize the struggle or to maximize the life experience. Now, most people, they go through life trying to minimize the struggle, which means that they try to have as least pain and suffering as possible. Mm. Now, this is one group. I don't want to be part of that because life is so short. I want to be part of the other group. This 5% of people that actually maximize their time and make the most of, of their lifetime. Now, I was thinking, okay, how do I do that? No, that would be my first question. How do you do that? Because yeah. we all want that, right? Exactly. So I was thinking, how can I create a process that's going to help me to be intentional and commit to get there? It took me a lot of time, but I figured out this kind of formula for me that represents the process to achieve success and fulfillment in life. Wow, that sounds so, big. Well, it works for me, and I think it can work for a lot of people. It's, it's a formula in three parts. And the first part is about how to be great. The second part is doing good. The last part is living epic. Now I'm going to deconstruct this, this formula. The first part about being great, you know, it starts with learning to master your body. This is the place you spend most time with, right? It goes everywhere where you go. So better to learn how to nourish yourself, how to sleep better, how to take care of yourself, how to, to keep moving so you can make the most of, of this physical body that you have. Then it's about learning to master your mind. What all the things that you need to learn, your, your character to build, learning to master your, your beliefs, your thoughts, and then also learning to master your emotions because we are driven by emotions on a daily basis. All right, so learning to master your body, your mind, your emotions. So this is all about the part of being great, creating this set of values and virtues that you want to show up for every single day. Next to this, we have doing good. Now, with all the people I work with, there is no one. Every time we talked about... Um, purpose that comes with a purpose statement that does not include contribution in what form or the other. Mm. And so I think it's just deeply rooted in us human beings that to really feel this sense of deep fulfillment, we have to do something that has a 
impact bigger than just us that has some parts of contribution to other people's life and now it can be other human it can be also animals or it can be just protecting the planet and so i think it's important to dive deep into what would give me this deep sense of fulfillment and how does that include the people around me and does it have to be that big like you're just saying about the planet about mm. our i don't think so you know, because sometimes it might feel a bit overwhelming to people. Like, oh, I don't want to be a leader of, of thousands of people, etc. Like, like, no, you can just make your purpose of being the best father, the best mother, the mm. best son, the best brother, the best friend, the best yeah. employee. It doesn't really matter. But at least there is impacting one person. Now, the last part is living epic. And what does that mean to live epic? I think, first of all, it means to redefine success with your own metrics. This is a problem nowadays that most people, they go through life without really knowing what success means, without really defining success for themselves. And so what they do, they just follow what the society, what the social media, what the culture, or what your friends and your immediate surrounding are giving you as the guideline for success. But how many times do we see that? People are 40, 50, like, what is my life about? Yeah. It's not me. It doesn't represent who I am. And so that's the problem. When we keep living a life based on other people's metrics, we miss out on our true essence on a true creative expression. And so I think this is one of the first things to do, to redefine success on your own terms. And then going with this, figuring out what are the things that I want to do, that I want to experience in my life? What, what are the things that I want to learn? So when we put everything together, so being great, doing good, and living epic, to me, this is very the, the very the formula that really helps you to create success and fulfillment in your life.